Mamoset is one of those apps where you can get your models in and get your textures and also have real-time rendering. You can also see the video where I talked about real-time rendering using EV inside Blender 2.8 Alpha and for today's video I'll be showing you how you can export your models out to ArtStation or maybe create a Mamoset viewer for yourself just in case you want to transport that model or give that model out to a client or someone that will be able to view it without having to send a heavy file. The file we're going to use today has been made available to us. Links will be in the description below and let's get to it. So if you have Mamoset or if you don't have Mamoset, you can easily go over to mamoset.co forward slash toolbag and download the available version of Mamoset toolbag here. You can get, uh, I guess it. you can get a 30 day trial and try with the app, see if it works for you. And if it does, you can actually go ahead and make a purchase, which is actually not that expensive compared to what you can get out of the bag with this. I think for a seat is about 189, roughly $190, which is actually a perpetual license compared to other rendering engines where you have to pay annually or monthly. So we have this corporate jacket inside of Mamoset that has been made available to us by Zarif. Our friend at Zarif, Zarif, uh, if you don't know about Zarif, Zarif is a 3D cloth design channel here on YouTube. I'm going to put the links in the description and I'm also going to put an end note as well so that you can follow the channel, see what they're doing there, subscribe and get weekly updates on creating clothes. If you're someone that doesn't really know how to create 3D clothes and you want to get into 3D cloth design or 3D cloth simulation, I will advise and suggest that you follow Zarif and follow the beginners program that she has on her channel and also try as much as possible to practice those stuff. So let's get on with Mamoset. So if you have your model imported, how you can import your model, you can use the cube which you have here and import the model or you can go ahead and import the model here. Once you have the model imported, you can click on the model or you can go through the hierarchy and find the model where it is. Once you double click, here is where you add all the maps that the model has been baked out with. So for example, if you're bringing in an FBX file, basically your FBX actually exports with the maps. So once you import it, a Mamoset kindly brings in those maps for you then you don't have to remap your stuff all together but then there are things that you can do inside of mamoset for example if i double click this jacket here i can go ahead and go to the albedo and put an overall color of what i want to have yeah you can go ahead and play with how you want your textures to look and then you can add some lights if you want you can turn off the lights you can do so many amazing things inside here but the tutorial for today is how you can actually get these things out so let's say for example you've done a nice turn table or maybe you're done with the looks and the lighting of what you want and you want to ship this to art station what you're going to do is first of all create a camera here and if you create this camera and you export it the viewer would be able to go through the model completely but if you want to add boundaries to your model for example you want to add boundaries you don't want the viewer to be able to go all the way around and uh, maybe go to the back for, for for reasons specifically known to you the best things i would advise you to do is you should add limits to your model so if i come over here and lock the panning limit i will not be able to pan around my scene if i turn this if i change this to none now i can easily pan around my scene but if I go ahead and lock it, I will not be able to pan around the scene. Other bounds you can still give, you can put the orbit bound. So let's say we want the camera not to pass a certain limit. So a limit like this and also another limit like this. If you don't want your camera to pass this limit, you can go ahead and add those boundaries as well. Now one more boundary is the orbit in the Y axis. So if I go ahead and play with the Y, with the maximum and minimum Y axis, and let's say we want something like this, we'll also notice that our camera is just limited to boundaries like this. But for this video, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and just set a very minimum bound, something like this. And yes, this is what we want. You can also go ahead and set rendering options that would fit the need of what you want to 
have for this what we'll do is we'll go over to the gear icon which you have here you can access that there or you can access that here and once i have that open i would want to uh, simply turn on gi because i would love to have gi here if you want to have this work for you you can go ahead and turn on gi or maybe if you want to add things like chromatic aberration you can come down to the distortion and add some chromatic aberration to your work now the question is how you get to export this from Mamuset to ArtStation and our friend over at Zarif has been kind enough to give us access to her ArtStation which we're going to use to upload this work and how we're going to do it is first of all when you go over to file and you go to export you see this button called the Mamoset Viewer, just click on it. With the dialog box open, you can specify where you want the file to be saved. And then you can go ahead and add the title and other related details you would want to have in the viewer. And with all this done, you can either click on Add Station to send it to Add Station, or you can click on Export to export it or Preview to view it. So what we want to do is we want to export this so that we can specifically add this to the page where we want it to be. So here we are on her art station and what we want to do is we want to upload the Mamoset viewer which we exported. So what we have to do now which is basically simple is come here and click on add Mamoset. And go all the way up and click on view on community. And because we kept it as the last piece we can scroll all the way down and we're going to be able to see it here. Now once you press play, Mamoset would automatically load it and then you can easily rotate around to look at the model. This is to me one of the best ways you can send your model out to someone for, for review, having all the textures and all the lightings and all that. So if you have animations and you want to export the animations, it's also advisable that you click on export animation here and what it's going to do is going to be able to export the animation out the same way we worked with the static mammal set file that doesn't have animation is actually the same way we're going to interact with this one so if we come over here and we have a mammal set animation we can go ahead and press the play button and now you see it loads and automatically starts playing and we can go ahead and position this and look at it the way we want you still notice that the camera is still constrained the same way we constrained it inside Mamoset. This is a very helpful way for you to export your models and showcase your work instead of loading external and heavy files. Other things you need to know about the viewer is when you click on this, you can be able to see the topology, gloss, reflectivity and normals as well. Then you can come through and make it full screen in case you want to make it full screen and so on and so forth. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to turn on notification. Until next time, peace.